Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video tutorial, we're going to get some practice applying deviation limit and bilateral tolerances to the part seen here. This part is available to download in the comments section. So once you have the part open and ready to go, let's go ahead and get started. First thing you want to do is come on up to design, come on down to drawing, and we're going to do a drawing from design, and we're going to select sheet size A, 11 inches by 8.5 inches. Let's go ahead and select OK. And by default here, it's going to go ahead and bring in my front view, and I'm going to change the scale. Let's make it 1 to 2, so it's a little bit larger. And I'm going to place it over here in the bottom left corner, something like that. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and just do visible edges, and go ahead and select OK. Now let's go ahead and create our side and our isometric or 3D view, and to do that, we're going to come on up to projected view. I'm going to click on my part. I'm going to move my mouse over to the side here, and then I'm going to move my mouse up and place this guy somewhere in the top right corner. Click there, and then hit that green check mark. And then I'm going to click on this guy, and I'm going to make him shaded, and then hit close. All right, now let's come on up and add some center marks to our circles here. So we're going to click on our circles. All right take it out of center mark mode here, hit escape. Now I'm going to go ahead and start dimensioning the part and I'm going to use datum dimensioning from this bottom left hand corner. So I'm going to dimension from this bottom left corner from feature to feature and work my way up and then I'm going to go across and work my way left to right here. So I'm going to come to dimension, click down here at this bottom left corner, click on the center here of my circle and come across, keep working my way up from this bottom corner to the next feature, which is the center of this hole. I'm going to come out across and then all the way up for my overall dimension here, which is four. All right, and I'm going to do the same thing across. Click here to the center of this circle. Click here to the center of this circle. Move my mouse down. Click here to here for my overall length here. Okay, I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to try to sort of clean some of these up. And I'm going to move it over to the side just a little bit here to give me some room to work with. And up a little bit, I think. There we go. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and dimension the thickness of our object, this base plate. Okay, quarter inch. I'm going to hit escape. And now I want to dimension the diameters of these holes. So to do that, I'm going to come on up to dimensions and I'm going to come to diameter dimension and I'm going to click right there and we're going to make that guy a diameter of 2.5 and then we're going to do the same for this guy and we're going to come right down between these arrows something like that. Okay, I'm going to hit escape. Alright, so now we're going to start adding some tolerances to our dimensions here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place a deviation tolerant on this guy. So I'm going to click on it I'm going to come over here to tolerance and select my type. I'm going to come down to deviation and I want my upper tolerance to be 0 0.03 and my lower tolerance to be 0. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit select close. Now think about what that's saying is this hole right here, okay, it can't be less than 0.5 but it can be as big as 0 0.503 in order for this hole to function properly. So like I said, it cannot be below 0 0.50000 and it cannot be greater than 0 0.503 in order for this hole to function properly. Now we're still not done with this hole yet. Notice we have four of them here. So I'm going to click on this 0.5 here. I'm going to click outside over here. I'm going to type in four space x and then space. Okay, and what that 4x signifies is that I have four of them, so I don't need to do this for every single hole. Okay, so I'm just gonna move this guy over. Actually, let's just move our entire part over since we got a little bit of room. Okay, that looks pretty good. 
All right, and the next tolerance you want to add is known as a limit tolerance. And we're, we're going to specify these location dimensions here, this 2 and this 3, with some limit tolerances because the location of this hole is probably important in the manufacturing process. In order for this hole to function properly, it needs to be in the right location. And we need to specify that location with a limit tolerance. So I'm going to click over here on my 2. I'm going to come over to my tolerance and I'm going to come down to uh, limit and I'm going to change something here. I'm going to set my primary precision to allow for three decimals here. Okay, and I want my upper tolerance here to be 0 0.003. And I want my lower tolerance to just be two. Okay, or I'm sorry, zero. Okay, and hit close. So think about what that's saying. This hole here from this edge has to be at least two inches but no more than 2.003 inches in order for it to function properly okay anything greater than 2.003 or less than two and it could affect the functionality of the part so now let's go ahead and add a limit tolerance to this location dimension this three Okay, so I'm going to click there. I'm going to change my primary precision to three decimal places. I'm going to change my tolerance now to a limit. And I want my upper tolerance to be 0 0.003. Get rid of one zero there. And I want my lower tolerance, well, to be just be zero. Okay, I'm going to, looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and hit close. So once again, think about what this tolerance is telling us. It's telling us this distance here, this dimension, has to be at least 3 inches, but no more than 3.003 .003 inches. Anything outside of this range, and it will affect the functionality of the part. Okay. All right, and the last tolerance we're going to add is known as a bilateral or symmetrical tolerance. And we're going to do it on this dimension right here, so I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Okay, I'm going to change my primary precision once again to 3 decimals. Okay, I'm going to change my type, like I said, to symmetrical. And I'm going to set that symmetrical value to be 0 0.002. All right, and then go ahead and hit close. All right, so the one thing I'm going to do real quick to this dimension is I'm just going to type in 6.0. Hit close. And on this dimension right here, I'm going to type in... 4.0. Hit close. Okay, so now we can go around and we can place tolerances on every single dimension, but that would be tedious and take a lot of time. So there's a faster way to do things because in industry, every dimension needs a tolerance. Okay, so to get around from having to place a tolerance on every single dimension, we'd add what's called a general tolerance table. So let's go ahead and now and come up with the table and do a custom table. And I'm just going to kind of click over here and I'm going to click, I'm going to delete two columns, one, two. So we only are left with two columns and then I'm going to um, click right there in this bottom corner. I'm going to drag it sort of right over here. I'm going to shrink down. some of my rows here. So it fits in here. All right, that looks pretty good. So when you're done, we should have two columns and one, two, three, four, five rows. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this box and I'm gonna type in general tolerance table. Okay, and I'm going to highlight it and just make it nice and bold so it stands out and hit close. Now go ahead and click in this top left box and we're going to type in there um, linear dimensions. I'm going to click one box over and I'm going to just type in angles. And then down below here I'm going to click and I'm going to type in capital X dot x okay dot x denotes one decimal place 
All right, and I'm going to type in uh, 0 0.02, and then I'm going to click in between these two, and I'm going to insert a symbol, that plus or minus symbol. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and hit close and explain something. So notice this tolerance here, this x dot x, applies to any dimension out here with only one decimal place. And in this case, our 4 and our 6 has one decimal place. So we use this tolerance, plus or minus 0 0.02, for any dimension out here with one decimal place. Okay. So now I'm going to click below this guy, and I'm going to type in x dot xx to represent any tolerance with two decimal places space bar 0 0.01 and I'm going to click in between them again and I'm going to change the symbol here now to our plus or minus okay and another space bar go ahead and hit close so now notice we have two decimal places this dot xx represents any dimension out here with two decimal places so any dimension out here with two decimal places utilizes a plus or minus 0 0.01 tolerance. And in this case, over here, our thickness is 0.25. Okay, so therefore, okay, the tolerance applied to this dimension is plus or minus 0 0.01, since it has two decimal places. So now I'm going to go ahead and click down here, and I'm going to type in x dot xxx, two spaces, and then I'm going to click, um, I'm going to type in 0 0.005 and I'm going to click in between them again and insert that plus or minus symbol okay and then I'm going to come over here to angles and I'm going to type in well I'm going to actually insert my plus or minus symbol okay and then type in 5 and then insert degrees and hit close now had any of our um, dimensions out here had three decimal places Okay, we would be using this one right here, this tolerance. Okay, but they don't. And had we had any angled uh, dimensions with angles on them, we'd be using this tolerance right here. So by adding this general tolerance table, we've covered our tracks and we've essentially applied a tolerance to every single dimension out here. Okay. All right, that'll do it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.